It's been a contentious conversation between the Phoenix City Council and the Central Arizona Shelter Services. Councilmember Ann O'Brien says if the largest shelter in Arizona wants a multi-million dollar contract, then the city will literally need a seat at the table. Some of my initial concerns were the types of outcomes we were getting and, and that we need positive outcomes for our community members. Councilmember Ann O'Brien doubling down on her criticism of CAS a day after making scathing statements toward the nonprofit during contract discussions for the 600 bed shelter at a Phoenix City Council meeting. We provide millions of dollars every year to CAS, yet we don't truly know what is going on. O'Brien says CAS threatened to shut down if they didn't receive more funds in 2021. She also cited stories of homeless people staying at the shelter for years and what should be transitional housing. CAS CEO Lisa Glow, who didn't have a representative at the council meeting, called it misinformation. Well, it was really pretty hard to hear things that weren't um, fully informed. We're working our butts off when we work so incredibly hard. We scaled up to 600 beds. It takes a toll when you work day in, day out. Still, Glow is accepting the city's offer, $4.4 million, which makes up for 17% of operational cost. But there are a few catches, including oversight and transparency requirements. She says these are steps her nonprofit already takes. We are an open book, and we always have been. We get a lot of public money. However, the biggest and newest stipulation is allowing a non-voting seat for the city of Phoenix on Cass's board. That's the only way we are going to understand 100% about what's going on and making sure that their board understands this. And I want to ensure that the folks in the city of Phoenix who have the expertise, the comprehensive expertise in this area, are the ones sitting at the table. The nonprofit's new contract with the city kicks in at the start of next month. Meanwhile, Glow says she will soon be meeting with Councilmember O'Brien. We'll get back on track with Councilwoman O'Brien. In Phoenix, I'm David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family.